not only physical structures, but systemic structures as well. In societies throughout history, civilizations are built through structures of bureaucracy. Bureaucracy refers to structure in an organization, like societies or government, that is regulated and has a hierarchy. Bureaucratic structures, like civilizations and religions, are constructed to be efficient, productive to their cause, and also delimiting of stratification of people. Inevitably, this stratification leads to desired groups and normalcy, and this also creates non-desired groups and abnormalcy. So this creates a paradox, as the very systems that are supposed to unify society also fragment it. The way that we can explore these systems, barriers, and problematic bureaucracies is to constantly challenge the politics of access and consider how these non-desired and abnormal groups are created and then parse the real meaning of disability. This is called, by Tanya Chuskowski, the politics of wonder. This thinking, the questions, is considered political because it makes radical changes to the philosophy of spaces and bureaucracies. In modern disability studies, which is the academic field of disability, we parse disability by examining these political views through a variety of lenses. Disability can be examined differently based on systemic structures and religions. We have three main models relating to politics of access. The moral model of disability is the historically the oldest and less prevalent today. However, there are still many cultures that associate disability with sin, shame, and disability is often associated with feelings of guilt, even if such feelings are not overtly based on religious doctrine. For the individual with a disability, this model is particularly burdensome. This model has been associated with shame on the entire family when a member has a disability. Families have hidden away the family member kept them out of school, and excluded them from any chance of having a meaningful role in society. Even in less extreme circumstances, this model has resulted in general social ostracism and self-hatred. The medical model of disability came out as modern medicine began to develop in the 19th century, along with the enhanced role of the physician in society. Since many disabilities have medical origins, people with disabilities were expected to benefit from the coming of direction of medical professionals. Under this model, problems associated with disability were deemed to reside within the individual. In other words, if the individual is cured, then these problems would not exist. Society has no underlying responsibility to make a place for persons with disabilities, since they live as an outsider role and are waiting to be cured. The individual with a disability is in the sick role in the medical model. When people are sick, they are excused from normal obligations of society, going to school, getting a job, taking on family responsibilities, etc. They are also expected to come under the authority of the medical profession in order to get better. Thus, until recently, the most disability policy issues have been regarded as health issues and physicians have been regarded as the primary authority on policy in this area. One can see the influence of the medical model in disability public policy, most notably today the social security system, in which disability is defined as the inability to work. This is consistent within the role of a person with a disability as sick. It is also the source for enormous problems of people with disability who want to work but would risk losing all related public benefits. Created using Powtoon.